For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff with the Mad Cheese, as always. The Madden 25 reveal trailer just dropped, and there really wasn't a ton of new information in the trailer. If you look at some of the comments on EA's website or EA's channel, there really was a lot of, you know, people just saying, is that it? There really wasn't a lot. It really didn't explain a lot. And that's because this really isn't supposed to be a deep dive trailer or anything like that. It's really just something to show you guys, um, you know, I guess just to get you a little excited about some of the new features in the game. But ultimately, there really wasn't a lot of information. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys uh, what these new features actually look like in game based on the fact that I'm actually playing the beta right now and I've had a lot of time with the game to the point where I really understand more than what they showed you in the actual trailer. So I'm going to go over each section and tell you how it's actually going to impact the game starting with um, the opening kickoff. Uh, but before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber and like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go let's get right into the video. Now, the trailer opens with the new kickoff system, which is something that's coming to the NFL this year for the first time. Uh, it looks like they run some sort of end around or some sort of uh, you know play where they where they hand the ball off to another player who's kind of like in a sweep motion. I didn't see anything like that. If you go in, if you actually play the game, there is no option in the game to hand the ball off to another player unless you do like a lateral which is typically something that you can do in Madden to basically change possession of who has the ball but there wasn't an actual play so I really didn't understand uh, what they were what they're trying to show there even that was beyond me so you know the new kickoff system I got to be honest I'm not really a huge fan of it I really don't know uh, you know whatever it is what's the way to, to beat the new kickoff system yet uh, but that's something that I'm sure uh, we'll figure out in time after that, they come up, they, the big you know, buzzword that they're using a lot in this game is the new boom tech system, which is really just a, it's just really just a buzzword. They're, I mean, it's something where you do notice that um, they have changed the tackling system, but calling it boom tech makes it sound like, um, you know, the defensive players are just laying out offensive players when it really doesn't feel like that at all. In reality, the tackling system doesn't really feel that great right now. There's a lot, of, I mean, definitely, you know, the importance to getting a tackle in Madden 25 is all about angles. If you're taking a bad angle or if you're behind or um, if you're not, you know, you really have to, to, to you know, the hit sticks, in, in my opinion, is way nerfed in this game. So I don't know why they keep calling it, I mean, the, the boom stick really just feels like lip service. Uh, but I've noticed a lot of broken tackles. A lot of these broken tackles don't even slow the running back or the, whoever's carrying the ball down. Uh, but like I said, I mean, this is something that, um, you know, you definitely see when they say it's like a physics-based engine. I think strength is a really key factor in Madden 25 when it comes to tackles. Because if you're a cornerback and you're trying to hit a tight end who typically has a higher strength than a receiver, you'll noticeably bounce off of them. And a lot of times they won't even, it's like they won't even feel it. So this is something that uh, when they say physics-based, they're probably talking about things like that. Things like strength are going to be really important in this game. Tight ends, to an extent, feel overpowered because of the fact that they're typically stronger than wide receivers. They have the ability, or at least it feels like this in the demo or in the uh, in the beta, it feels like they can go up and moss receiver or moss cornerbacks a lot easier because of their strength. It feels like they're um, you know less likely to be tackled by cornerbacks and safeties and stuff like that because of their strength. And you also feel that impact when it comes to blocking, as a lot of times you'll see um, if you're using like a smaller player, like a cornerback or something like that, they may get blocked to the point where uh, the impact blocks are just felt way more when you're trying to use certain players. So there's definitely something to the physics-based engine uh, thing that they're trying to sell you. As far as strength, it really just plays a big part, and smaller players can really get dominated by bigger players. And speaking of blocking, they talk about new blocking AI logic. The blocking is much better, but you also have way more control. As you now have the ability to hold the LB or the L1 button and see exactly who your blockers are going to pick up on any given play so if your opponent is set, trying to send the same blitz over and over and over it's not going to work anymore because you now have the ability to do a full slide or a half slide in either direction an empty look a base look there's a lot of different ways that you can change the blocking you can see exactly who's going to get picked up by which player which makes it way easier to change your blocking structure based off of your opponent's blitz so that's really going to nerf a lot of the spam blitzes that you see things like the db fire 2 uh things that uh, 
um, you know, things that you just see over and over in Madden are going to be much harder to run all game based on the fact that you can just slide protection and see exactly who's going to get picked up on any given play. They also show a one-handed spectacular catch, uh, which is something that I actually did notice only one time in the, in the probably 10 to 20 hours that I put into the game so far. I did notice one one-handed catch that really made you uh, take notice. And actually, I forget who caught it, but when I saw that, my immediate reaction was, who is this guy? You know what I mean? I was like, this guy must be a real beast to make a catch like that. But I think it was just the animation that was programmed for that exact uh, moment. But you will see, uh, you know, some crazy one-handed grabs from time to time. And if you're playing against somebody and they get a crazy one-handed grab, you're probably going to feel like man just bs you. But if one of their marketing uh, concepts is uh, new animations when it comes to uh, catches, yeah, the one-handed catch looks really nice. I'll give it that. But it's not something that's going to be a huge difference in gameplay. Um, as far as they they go into the high, they call it highlight reel control, and they go into um, you know a bunch of ball carrier moves that uh, you know running backs and, and, and stuff like that are making. I feel like that's something that's also nerfed. The hit sticks feels extremely nerfed and less powerful, and uh, ball carrier moves feels a lot less powerful. They talk about juke specifically and the new hezzy move. Uh, the Hezzy move, I haven't really spent a lot of time doing it. I'm not necessarily uh, familiar with I haven't really used that too much. But the best ball carry move that I saw in the entire game was the spin move, which really didn't give you a lot of change of direction. He really just kind of spins in one place, but they spin really fast. And if you nail that, it completely dumbs out the defender. So they talk about the new juke move, and I have hit a few good juke moves to the point where it is noticeable. But just like it's just like the one-handed catch. It's so rare that you hit a good juke move in Madden 25 based off the fact that um, the juke move is just really uh, nerfed. It's not like in Madden 24 where the juke move was a simple flick of the stick and um, you were just making guys miss. I mean, the juke move is really toned down. Uh, a lot like I said, the hit stick. So... They talk about new ball carrier moves and stuff like that, and they definitely are new. There's definitely a new system in place here, but they're definitely not as good as they're trying to make it sound. I actually made, in another video that I made, I actually said it feels more easy to make people miss and more um, easy to control the ball carrier with just the left stick, not even using the right stick, not even using the, um, the stick that's typically designed to make people miss. Things like the B button and stuff like that to make you spin. Uh, it really feels like you can just skip all that and just use the left stick and run around people uh, a lot more easily. So it does feel like ball carrier controls better from the left stick function itself from the actual ball care you know the the function that moves people around but it feels worse when it comes to actually trying to combine it with um you know things like uh like like juke moves and spin moves even i mean spin moves even feel uh less less uh affected based on the fact that it spin moves in madden 24 in previous games you actually move in a direction where here you just spin in a circle right in the spot that you're on but like i said that spin is really effective i'm not going to say it's not that will definitely be the meta uh move in my opinion uh aside from maybe this new hezzy move because like i said i haven't really spent a lot of time uh on actually trying to perfect that hezzy move but like i said the spin move feels really good in making uh immediate tacklers miss especially if you get caught in the backfield if somebody comes you know uh if, if you're trying to run a certain direction and somebody comes flying through the gap a spin move a lot of times properly placed is one of the easiest ways to make them miss and then continue the play after that they talk about franchise mode they call fresh presentation one of the bigger things for franchise mode is they talk about um you know the draft presentation is going to be better they show a uh, highlight footage of um you know the roger goodell holding up the jersey uh with some of the some of the new uh rec some of the new draft picks uh which i feel like that's probably uh, that's something I didn't spend a lot of time in franchise mode, but that's something that's probably kind of minor considering the draft is only one day out of the year. They talk about the rookies. Obviously, every year, one of the big things is the new players getting put into the game. Uh, and they also talk about um, how there's going to be some new playbooks. Well, there's definitely a lot of new plays, a lot of new options when it comes to custom hot routes and stuff like that. That's going to give an infinite amount of uh, customization when it comes to plays. But they're specifically talking about playbooks like the Chiefs and like the Dolphins. There's a lot of plays in those playbooks that have like end arounds or have a lot of new motions before the snap. Uh, there's plays in the Chiefs, I think, that have uh, the ability to throw the ball uh, from a receiver who's on an end around 
around. Um, they have a lot of, just a lot of very unique plays. The Chiefs is going to be probably the first ebook that I put out, by the way, as the newer stuff is usually the most broken. And the Chiefs have a lot of really new broken stuff. I'd say the Chiefs and the Dolphins are probably the two newest, most broken playbooks that I'll spend the most time in. Uh, but I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos about Madden 25 that I already put out, there's a lot of information that I went over today, expanded in previous videos. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have links in this, of those popping up on screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.